Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the Scott FFR. So I recently did a video with my Scott GSR. So this is the general service respirator in 40 millimeter bayonet. Now the difference between the FFR and the GSR is that mask is 40 millimeter NATO. So your standard filter. Now this mask can be converted into a 40 millimeter NATO mask, but um, there's some breathing resistance because of the pores. This is designed directly to use filters. So I'm going to be going over this, why I bought it, and hopefully do a bit of tests. So the person I bought all this from was Stephen Amy from the Nuclear Family on eBay. Um, I'll put a picture up on screen. They very kindly sent me a bunch of filters as well. We did a massive deal. I've also got a C420 PAPR unit that I want to uh, review at some point. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to review that one yet, um, but I want to do a test on all of it. So what do we actually have in this bundle? So we have the mask itself, which is a brand new sealed uh, Scott's FFR. 40 millimeter NATO mask. We have the water bottle that goes with it. Thank you, Steve, for sending that one and Amy. We have a brand new haversack. This is a GSR haversack, but it's kind of the same. It goes with the mask. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight brand new Scott Pro ABEC P3 filters. These are full CBRN Gray, uh, green foil filters. I'm not sure what they look like, but going over what an FP5 filter looks like, it's going to probably look similar to this. Um, these are the real deal, apparently. They expire in 2024, as it says there, which it's got it's got two years on the shelf life, but um, because these are sealed and well packaged, they've got stoppers like this, a stopper there and a stopper there, um, and they're, the packaging is brilliant. Uh, these will last for probably another 10, 20 years sealed like that. I'm not going to open any, sadly, because I want these filters to be my escape filters. For tests, I'm going to be still using my FP5 filter. One, because it still works. And two, because obviously I don't want to ruin this. So the nuclear family have all of this for sale right now. They also have a uh, PAPR unit. They have a few of them in stock, so if you want to go and check them out, there'll be a link in the description also in the comments. I'm sure Steve will um, write a comment down below um, if there's any details that I miss out. But if you want a full in-depth review and the actual science behind the mask, I recommend checking out Hype Militaria's videos he, he has done on this mask. Um, I will leave a link again in the comments and in the description to check it out. He goes over the differences, um, basically a more in-depth review than I'm going to do. I'm pretty much going to get it out, showcase it, test it, and then that's going to be pretty much it. I don't really know the full science behind this mask. But anyway, let's get into it. So here we go. So again, obviously we have the water bottle that goes with this one. Um, I'm pretty sure it also connects to the GSR, so we, I will do a drinking... Uh, water test maybe in this video if not in a video to come and then obviously we got the gsr have a sack it looks pretty much brand new to me um it's it's really really spacious um so maybe i will try and test this out as well but what of everyone is here to actually see is the mask itself so here is some information so it's the ffr uh, general ASM large US so it's the FFR general service respirator I'm going to call it so it's a GSR but instead it's a 40 millimeter NATO so this was uh, packaged in 2014 so and I'm pretty sure gas masks are designed to last um, up to 10 years in sealed packaging so again this mask will expire in two years uh, time so 2024 but Obviously, it's been kept in sealed condition, so this is going to last for, well, for me forever now, if I, if I keep it in good condition. So what does it come with? So it comes with um, the manual, the harness, the, the mask insert. It comes with um, a filter assay, 
the haversack, which is this one here, and obviously the mask itself, and a few other bits. So let's get into the box. So opening up the box, we have the mask itself. So let's remove it. Here it is, all nice and packaged. All nice and packaged, like as you can see, all nice and packaged and it's sealed, which is good. Place that one there. And then we have the, um, oh, what's this one? We have, I'm not sure what this one is, but it looks like it's just like a little report uh, thing here. Anyone wanna read that? There you go. So the, ma uh, the magazine, the manual, here we go. So we have the Scott Safety FFR, the first responder respirator. That's what it's called, the first responder respirator, not the GSR, because that's a general uh, service respirator. So we've got the first responder respirator. So this mask is used by police, I'm pretty sure, in uh, foreign countries. So let's just open the manual. So obviously you've got the contents there. Um, I, just, I don't want to show the entire manual, but... It looks like it's just got, uh, here we go. So to remove the um, the filter uh, plug there, looks like you use a coin. So what's that? Yes, yeah, so you use a coin to unlock it. Um, and then basically it's just telling you about the uh, XL valve and the drinking tube there. Um, obviously how to install a filter and stuff. That's pretty much the manual. Um, is there anything else in the box? Nope, it's quite a nice box actually. Uh, I will probably keep this box. So let's just, poop. and then what you guys have been waiting for, the actual unboxing of the mask. Look at that, that's nice. Let me just bring you up a little bit more so I have a little bit more room to mess with. So we need a knife. I'm gonna be using my Mora knife. I got this from Trevor Shop. Sadly, Proper Shop do not sell knives anymore. But this mask is completely sealed and I'm going to be ruining it. So, you guys ready for the ultimate, well, the ultimate cutting skills? Ready? Here we go. Oh, did you see that, guys? And then we're just going to cut. Well, I would say cut in a straight line, but it's not really a straight line. I, I do want to keep this bag because um, I can always seal it back up. So the seal is broken, so let's take the mask out of the, um, the bag. There is the mask, guys. Should we do a quick comparison on the GSR, Where am I, wherever my GSR has gone? I've lost my GSR. I found my GSR. Let's scoot that one over. There we go. So look, it's pretty much identical, isn't it? That's pretty much identical. I can already tell this rubber is a lot better than this rubber, and I can already see the glue, glue work is a lot better as well. But obviously we will go around that in a minute. So, something just fell out. So we got a little bit of extras there, or there's a drinking straw there. So we got a brand new drinking straw. It uh, looks like we've got some extra clips as well. Oh, sorry, I keep moving the camera. So that's that. Then in the back of the mask, we have the harness which looks like it's gone a little bit weird i'm not a fan of these harnesses i do not like rubber harnesses but um hype might be doing a video on how to change the harnesses so we got the face mold i got it in a size two which is a large um that's actually a really good piece i'll probably keep this in the mask forever just because it just molds the face so anything else in there no that's pretty much it so so we got a bit of information down here. So here is the information. Not sure if you're able to see that very well. No, probably not. But there's a little bit of information there. And just going over the mask, I mean, it looks, it does look in pretty good condition, really. I mean, it is brand new, but it looks pretty much identical to a GSR. But instead, obviously, you've got, um, well, you've instead got a 40 millimeter port, 40 millimeter port and not a um, bayonet port. So the drinking straw, if I can get that one out. If I can get that one out. Oh, there we go. So I've got the drinking straw undone. Looks pretty nice. Then obviously we got the, I think this is the straw mover. I think that's the straw mover there. Um, so that unravels like that. And I can do a quick test 
just to see if it actually fits in here. You ready? Boop, oh, boop, oh. Why won't I go in? It does fit. There we go. I think I'll probably do a separate video on that. Um, but as you see there, um, it does fit. I think it's exactly the same as the... Well, I can't get it out now. I think it's exactly the same as the uh, GSR mask. I can't get the filter out. Uh, the, not the filter, the uh, water bottle out now. That's not very good. There we go. It's come out. But obviously, I will do a test in the future um, just to show you guys... Uh, if it fits and can you actually drink from it. So we're gonna wrap that one back around there, like so. Goes behind that plastic into here. And then you close that one down like that. Just making sure it's all molded properly. I mean, yeah, I'm quite happy with this mask. I mean, the glue work is really good as well on the mask. Like, look at that glue work. And there's a little bit smudgy up there, but look at that glue work. If you compare it to my GSR, which I need to find again, here it is. Look at the top of that. Look at the glue marks on that, right at the top. Yeah, that's quite a uh, disappointing one. Um, oh, this was also made in 2014, so it's, a, it's the same mask. That's actually pretty good. So we got two 2014... Um, scott masks which are nice so yeah i mean what else is there to do other other than actually test it um i know you can obviously take off the voice diaphragm -y port there looks identical to the scott gsr um so you've got the your xl valve there voice diaphragm there these are a pain in the ass to get back on but it looks identical uh which is quite nice let me just try and get this back on here it's the only reason i don't like taking this off is i can never get it back in so if you've got a scott mask and you know what i'm talking about there goes in um yeah i don't like don't like doing that but let me try some ow let me try a filter now let's see if i can actually use a filter on here so we have a P3 rated filter. Will that screw on? Yep, yeah, it looks like that screws in pretty nice. That's cool. Um, now let's do a full CBRN kind of filter. I'm gonna use my FP5 filter. Now FP5 filters are, I'm pretty sure they're GOST and NATO, so they're not really the one you wanna use um but it should go in there yep all in perfectly fine now obviously the real test is my papr unit um i'm not going to do any papr like videos in uh well i'm not going to test it in this video uh because i want to do that as a separate video let me just take off the tube so i have an avon tube nicely designed uh, cover by Amy, shout out to Steve's wife. Um, so obviously this is gonna go in here, if I can get it in. I just wanna test it, because obviously this is what I'm gonna be using with the PAPR unit, um, and if it doesn't fit, then I will cry. Yep, fits perfectly fine, that's pretty good. So I guess now is actually putting the mask on and um, testing it. So let's put it on and test it right so sitting down we now have the ffr here's a little bit of a close-up um like i said it's in it is in really good condition i know it's brand new but um for something to be in that good of a con condition is really good so obviously i got to install the drinking tube at some point if it's anything like my s10 i could never get it on <laughs> um it kind of looks like like it um we might just have to try and adventure it but really i guess let's try put the mask on and um go from there really see if it fits hopefully it does fit um i was told by hype and steve that the gsr is exactly the same mask and it will fit exactly the same um so i was a size two in that one hopefully i'm gonna be a size two in this one so Let's, oh, let me try and loosen up the straps a little bit. Otherwise, 
I will probably suffocate and die. Um, just doing that one. That one. Uh, I'm sure all of these traps will be fine, but it's usually the bottom ones are the are the worst ones. That should be all right. So let's put the mask on. Obviously, there's air leaking at the moment. Let's tighten that one. Mm. Tighten that one. Uh, we can actually tighten these. That one. That one. And obviously, I need to tighten. I need to get my hair out of the way first. So I do need a haircut. Um, It does pressurise, but obviously I do want to just tighten uh, these two up, that one, and hopefully my hair is getting in the way. <laughs> that one, that's quite, it's quite comfortable. Um, you probably hear a lot of sucking from the uh, from the the port. Yeah, it's quite good. Yep, all pressurised as well, no leaks, uh, well that one's a bit loose up here, so, but obviously it, it doesn't leak. With the GSR, um, it did exactly the same, I think that was just the, the design um, I did ask and uh, everyone else had the same kind of, um, kind of experience. I think that's as best as we're going to get really. Obviously, you can hear the uh, the voice diaphragm popping a little bit. Um, yeah, pressurised is completely fine. Um, now let's shove a filter on it. FP5 filter. Obviously, if it if this one is expired, then probably I'm gonna cry. Just a quick pressurised check. Yeah, pressurised as well. As you can see, it sucks in. There you go. Pressurised check complete. Um, again, isn't really much wrong with the mask. Um, I mean, it's, it does let in a little bit. I wouldn't say it lets in air. It's more of just the, um, the mask. It's kind of a bit... It's because my hair's in the way. I need to get my hair out but obviously if it pressurizes seals well like it does obviously i'm going to do my test in a minute so what do i have to test i have hand sanitizer this is extremely strong links africa because everyone loves links africa very very strong aftershave this is extremely strong um it stunk my gsr out I couldn't. I wasn't able to wear it uh, for a few days, and just vapor rub. It's kind of just one of them things. Um, has quite of a strong, has quite of a strong um, feel to it. So, which one should we do first? I guess really we should go around the mask, see if we can smell anything. So, I guess the first thing, filter port. There it is. No, nothing. <coughs> I'm also trying to recover from my cold, so it's not obviously the best. No, and obviously if I lift the mask up, yep, I can smell that very, very strong alcohol. So um, that one passed. Mask pass for this one, which is good. Now, let's go for another swelling test. Vapor rub. This absolutely stinks. Let's see if I can smell it first. Yep, I can smell it by lifting the mask up. Let's just breathe a little bit. Obviously, you can hear the filter, uh, the XFL popping a little bit because of my air airflow. So, smelling test. Mm. 
So, can't smell it at all up here, so obviously that's sealed perfectly fine through the filter. Nothing. So that one passes with uh, flying colours. Now, let's go into the deodorants. I can't. I can't smell that at all. Obviously, if I then lift it up, yeah, straight in, straight in as soon as I lift up um, my uh, cheek belt. No, cannot smell anything at all, which is another pass. That's really good. Now, the strongest one at all. Obviously, these are all passed, but this is incredibly strong. Once you spray it, there's no going back. I'm not going to spray it all over my ass this time. I'm just going to do a little, little spray. So... A lot of hair in my mouth. No, can't smell it. Lift the mask out, I can smell it. It clears my throat. Yep, there you go. So the mask has actually passed, um, which now we know the mask works. We know the mask um, functions well. Obviously, if I start doing this and that, you know, trying to shake the mask off, dizzy now, but no, it works well. Um, if you do want me to put another filter on this, I can have a look. Movement, movement's pretty good. I might have to readjust the straps a little bit, but um, other than that, I mean, the mask is pretty good. I mean, it's quite solid, which is good. Obviously, the filter works. Um, yeah, I mean, what else is there to say, really? Thank you for uh, watching, guys. Again, if you want to check out um, the nuclear fa family on eBay, um, there'll be a link in the description. I'm going to take the mask off now <coughs> so I can actually have a proper cough. Um, probably in a mess now, and I can smell all my deodorant and stuff. Um, I got a um, hair stuck in my, my mouth. Um, but yeah, if you want to buy one of these masks, uh, there'll be a link in the description to go buy one. Um, I'm not sure what stock Steve has left. I'm pretty sure he has a free... Um, but if you do message him, I'm sure he can sort you something else. Or he does have some brand new GSRs in stock. I'm not totally sure how many he's got in stock, but um, he does have a few in stock, brand new ones, which is quite nice. Obviously, again, if you want a PAPR unit, C420, you can get one from him as well. Um, saying that as well, if you do want a more in-depth video, than what I've done, uh, check out Hype Military, link in the description and in the comments below. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.